tutorial on the Y bus admittance matrix for powerful equations part 3. So in part 2 we went over a very generalized example of a Y bus admittance matrix for the power system and we drew some conclusions from it, right? One conclusion that we drew was that the diagonal element, which are y11, y22, and y33, these diagonal elements represent the admittance of a particular bus, right? And we'll talk about what that means in a little while, but uh, it essentially equals the sum of all of the admittances connected to that bus. Right, so y11, y22, and y33. So the sum of admittances that's connected to bus 1, the sum of the admittances that are connected to bus 2, the sum of the admittances that are connected to bus 3. Whereas the off diagonal elements, which are these guys right here, y12, y13, y21, y23, and y31, y32, these are the negative, so we had to have a negative terms here, multiply that by the admittances that spans from that bus to the second bus. So let's consider y12. So y12 is going to equal negative 1 times the admittance from bus 1 to bus 2. Well, here's bus 1 and here's bus 2. So we're talking about the admittance that's connect that spans from bus 1 to bus 2, which is this admittance here, right? And that is equal to negative j 2.5. So y12 is going to equal negative 1 times negative j 2.5, and that's going to equal positive j 2.5. Okay, similarly, we have to look at the admittance that spans bus 1 and 3. In this example, that admittance is, is this guy right there. Y13 is going to equal negative 1 times that admittance, which is J4.0. And that is going to equal positive J4.0. Okay, so these are the, um, the off diagonal element. So let's uh, let's keep this video short and let's just fill out our matrix. Okay, so now we're, we're going to start by calculating um, the admittance matrix for bus Y11. So we look at bus 1 and then we look at all of the admittances that are connected to bus 1. So bus 1, um, there are a total of four admittances, right? We have the admittance of this transmission line, which is um, negative 2.5. We have the ad shunt admittance of this transmission line, which is 0 0.05. The admittance of this transmission line, which is negative 4.0. And the shunt admittance of this transmission line, which is J.02. So Y11, Y11 is going to equal J2.5. Uh, and that's a negative value right, plus J0.05, which is this admittance here, plus negative J4.0, which is this value here, uh, and then plus this guy right there, J0.02, J0.02, okay? So we add all of this, of these sums up, and then we put that over here, okay? That's a uh, Y11. Pretty straightforward, right? So now Y12, that's going to equal the admittance negative one, right? Times the admittance from bus one to bus two, which is negative 2.5. So negative J 2.5, and that's gonna equal positive J 2.5. Okay, make the smaller, that's going to be there, okay? And then y13, that's going to equal, because it's an off diagonal element, we're going to multiply by negative 1, uh, that's the admittance from bus 1 to bus 3, which is negative j4.0, positive j4.0, put that right there, okay? Now, similarly, y21 is the admittance from bus 2 to bus 1, and I have that negative one there, 
So that is equal to negative 2.5, positive, type there. And then y22, that's going to equal all of the admittances that are connected to bus 2. And the only two admittances that are connected to bus 2 are this line admittance plus this shunt admittance. So that's going to equal uh, negative j2.5, that's the line admittance, plus the shunt admittance, which is j0.05. So that's going to equal that. And then y23, that's going to equal the admittance from bus 2 to bus 3. Now notice, this is bus 2 here, and this is bus 3 there. There's no admittance that's connected between bus 2 and bus 3. So that value is just going to equal 0. So we're going to have 0 there. Okay. And admittance for y31, that's going to equal the admittance from bus 3 to bus 1, which is negative j. Uh, remember, it's an off diagonal value. So that's going to equal negative j 4.0. Put it there. And then y32, which is the admittance from bus 3 to bus 2. Remember, nothing there, no admittances that are connected there, so that's going to equal 0. And then y33 are the admittances that are connected to bus 3, which is only um, these two admittances. So we have uh, negative j4.0 plus j0.02. Put that there. So there you have it. For this particular example, the Y bus matrix is equal to that right there. Now remember in part two, we said that the current is equal to the Y bus matrix times that by our voltage. Remember in the previous tutorial, this is essentially what we concluded if we modeled out the currents. So now the question that uh, I posed in part two was in the in the diagonal matrices why is it that we're actually adding up all of the admittances that are connected to that particular bus and the answer to that question is this okay so we're saying that the diagonal addition causes the sum of the branch currents flowing from each node of the network to equal the total current injected into that node. Now, this definition comes directly from the Granger and Stevens's Power Systems Analysis book. And at first, it was a pretty difficult uh, thing to understand, but it makes sense after a while. Now, what this is saying is that uh, the diagonal addition, right, which is Y11, Y22, Y33, now the diagonal addition causes the sum of the branch currents flowing from each node of the network. What, and what this is saying is that um, for bus 1, for example, so we're saying all of the current that's flowing through this branch here, plus the currents that are flowing through there, plus the currents that are flowing through there, and plus the current that's flowing through there, right? All of these currents that are flowing through all of these branch admittances, right? That equals the total current injected into that node. So if you look at the total current that's injected into bus one, well, that current is going to equal the sum of the currents that are going through all of the admittances that are connected to bus one. That makes total sense. So if we look at the total current that's injected into bus 1, well, we could simply add all of the admittances that are connected to bus 1, and that's your total current. So the diagonal elements essentially tell us the total current that is injected into that particular bus. Okay, and the off diagonal elements tell us uh, the currents that are flowing from one bus to the other bus. So there you have it, right? It's pretty simple. And uh, 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 and like I said, it took me quite a bit of time to really understand this from an intuitive perspective. And, and I hope that this tutorial helps you understand intuitively 
what's going on when we form the Y bus. Now, if you haven't subscribed already, please do so by clicking on the subscribe button that's on the bottom right corner of the screen. And if you have any questions, there's a forum link that's on the bottom of this video. Click on the forum link and ask away on this forum. This video was brought to you by generalpack.com, making power systems intuitive. Please visit generalpack.com for more video tutorials similar to this. Thank you.